Welcome back to the DIY Guy and today we're going to be putting 11 of the most commonly used plasterboard fixings through their paces and we'll find out which ones are going to be top shelf and which ones are going to fall way below the mark. We'll be using a mock-up stud wall for this test with 12.5mm plasterboard, just like you typically would in your home. We'll be using a hook and a bucket of water to weigh the load on each of the fixings to see what they can hold. First up, the hollow wall anchor. These cost me 38 pence of fixing. Now obviously it depends where you buy them from, but 38p, that's pretty cheap and they're a real house favourite. Get our little hook on here. Quite excited about testing the first one actually. Not so excited if I get soaking wet, but at least you'll get a laugh out of it. Moment of truth, hollow wall anchor. How's it gonna do? Place your bets. She's starting to go. Yeah, I got wet. I bust me bucket. So we're gonna have to start again because I have no idea of the weight of water that was in here and I got soaking wet feet in the process. Take two with our hollow wall anchors. This time we have a more flexible bucket. Hopefully when it hits the floor it won't crack. Can't believe these things are holding as much. I thought this was gonna be quite a quick video to make. Any minute now, place your bets. Wow. <laughs> There she goes. Right, let's weigh it. We'll weigh it minus our wall hook. We'll weigh this in kilograms. 31.3. So I was really impressed with the hollow wall anchors. We've started off really, really strong. Let's move on to the next one. Next up to the wall of doom, we have Fisher's nylon plasterboard fixings. In plasterboard, they're rated to four kilograms. I don't quite expect them to hold 31 kilos, but you never know, I was surprised by the wall anchors. So let's give these a go next. So you can see these wing pieces have spread out and give us a nice good spread behind the plasterboard. Okay, I'm not expecting a great deal out of the Fisher nylon plasterboard fixings. To be honest with you, they already look like they're starting to pull through, so I don't think this one's gonna last too long. I'm fairly confident they're already exceeding the rating on the packet. So you're gonna be surprised at the amount of weight that this has held. As this was pulled through the plasterboard, it actually spread out and held the weight really, really well. You can see there how spread out they are. Well, we got 34 kilos. How impressive is that? Completely exceeded what I expected this to hold. So well done to the Fisher nylon fixings. So next up, we have the metal self-drilling plasterboard fixings. Some of the quickest and easiest fixings to screw into your plasterboard stud wall and probably one of the most commonly used. So let's see how those fare compared to the last two that we tested. Well, they can hold the bucket, so that's a good start. Metal self-drill and plasterboard fixings. How much is it gonna hold? <laughs> Hopefully you can see that. 16.15, I'm getting. That is interesting. I thought they were gonna do a lot better than that. I'm a bit underwhelmed by them. Next up, a simple wall plug. They cost about six P a plug, maybe five P a plug, depends where you get them from. Will it even hold the bucket? Let's find out. So, Universal wall plugs, 6p. So put your guesses in the comments below. What's the wall plug gonna hold in plasterboard? It's actually doing really well. There she goes. 25 
kilos. Exactly. That is impressive. So next up, we've got the nylon self-drill fixing by Fisher. It does say on there for light loads. Now, judging by how the metal version of these did, I'm not expecting them to hold any more than the metal ones. They're 15 pier fixing, so interestingly, they're more expensive than the metal version. But let's see if they can hold more than the 16 kilos that the metal ones did. It's already started to go. It's already pulled out of the plasterboard halfway. There she goes. Didn't hold very much at all. To be honest, after the performance of the metal version, I'm not all that surprised. Let's find out how much they held. 8.6 kilos. It's so light, I can walk to the camera and show you. So they didn't perform as well as their metal counterpart. More money, less performance. Hmm. So next up, we have Fisher's spring toggle cavity fixings. Now they're quite a common one that you see people using to hang things on plasterboard and they're about 35p a fixing, so one of the more expensive. Let's see how they perform. This time, to start with, we're sticking a 20 kilo weight in the bottom. One that's to save water, and hopefully I'll get less wet, but also I'm expecting better things from these, and I might not fit enough water in the bucket. Who knows? Let's see, can it hold 20 kilos to start with? Yes, it can. So we're up to 20 kilos already. Starting to blister. There she goes. Let's give it away, see what they held. But I think we might have a new leader. So that's 20 kilos without the water. So 20 kilos already. And another 29.1. The toggle plasterboard fixing, 49.1 kilos. We have a new leader. If you're trying to hang something that little bit heavier, well worth the 35p per fixing. So next up, we have the roll plug tap it fixing. I have no idea what to expect from these. To be honest, I've never used them, so it's a first for me. I've got no idea what the rating is of them. It doesn't say. All it says is they're plasterboard hollow wall fixings. Let's give them a go. Well, they're certainly quick and easy to use, but will they hold any weight? I admit I have reasonably low expectations of the tap-in fixing, but they're around 30p a fixing where I bought them, so maybe they are gonna be good. Let's start filling the bucket up and find out. Interestingly, the plasterboard has really started to blister quite a while ago, actually, but it's still holding on. So the tap-in fixings held a lot longer than I thought they would do. You can see there's more damage there from the tap-ins than there was for a lot of the other products. 22.9.8 kilos. Not bad from the tap-in fixing. So now we move on to the gripper fixings. Now if you look at the back of this gripper assorted packet, there's lots of different uses for these and lots of different weights. But Will they hold what they say on the packet? So we're starting off with the smallest grippet, the grippet yellow, rated to hold 71 kilos, and depending where you buy it from, costing about a quid a fixing. Are they gonna be worth the money, or are they gonna leave us underwhelmed? Let's start filling the bucket up and find out. Grippet yellow achieves 20, 6.2 kilos. Moving on to the Grip It Red now. Says it will hold up to 74 kilos. Let's put it to the test and see if it can hold more than its little brother. So 
did grip at red hold more than grip at yellow? 22.2 kilos. So in our test, no. Grip at red failed before grip at yellow. In fact, grip at yellow held four kilos more than grip at red. So next up, one of the bigger grippets, the grip it brown. It's rated to hold up to 93 kilos. But is it gonna do a better job than some of the smaller grippets? Costs about one pound 10 of fixing. Whoa, and there it goes, it rimmed the bucket. But what weight did Grip It Brown hold? 35.6 kilos. Not bad. And the last fixing on our list today, the Grip It Blue. They were about £1.20 per fixing for me to buy. But are they gonna be worth that extra money? This is the big boy of the range, so you'd hope it would hold the 20k weight first of all. So let's put 20k in the bottom. What's it gonna do? Is it gonna hold more than the Grip It Brown? Not a total failure yet. Pretty much exactly 29 kilos. So Grip It Blue didn't do a bad job, but not quite as good as its little brother, the Grip It Brown. So that's it, that's all of our fixings tested. Some real shocks there. But let me know, did you expect exactly what you saw today, or were you shocked at the findings? Please subscribe, because I've got loads to come throughout the rest of the year, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. And hit the like button, because that helps this video reach and help more people just like you on YouTube, who wouldn't have seen the video otherwise. And I'll be putting some links in the description to some of these fixings, and you'll be able to go and grab yourself some of the best performers. I've been the DIY guy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.